James Crazy. That's me! Hey everybody, welcome back to James Plays Outer Wilds. That was a little bit of a hiccup there, wasn't it? So, being very confused, I did go and speak to Michael to find out what the deal was with actually saving our progress. And I did learn that there is an autosave. It just hadn't activated yet because we haven't done enough. That it starts, I guess, after that stuff with the statue. And then it will autosave after every X amount of minutes. So it's not like an automatic save every time you do anything. Save when you quit, whatever. We have to, you know, just spend enough time doing stuff. And the game will save and the game will let us know when it saves. So... Uh, it could be a little complicated when it comes to recording, we'll see. But I did go and run through everything again, and there was one thing that I picked up on that maybe I missed last time or just overlooked. Using the... this thing. The signal scope or whatever it's called. You hear that? That sounds like a harmonica to me. And we were told that the harmonica belongs to a person who's been missing. Uh, well, we found them. Mystery solved. Game over. But maybe we can actually locate them? They are 329 meters away. And we're pointing down at the planet. My guess is they're not actually... In space. They're in somewhere. And we did see one point of entry to uh to get in that that geyser that killed me. So maybe we will figure out a way to actually get in there at some point. We zeroed in on somebody's whistling, and I believe there is we'll see it coming up around this ridge soon enough. There it is. This is the moon, and it looks like there's a little settlement here on the moon. Possibly something over on the other side there, too, yeah. So, we have a couple places that we could go to. I think we have a lot of places we could go to, I'm not sure, but we have a couple of leads. There's a rumor about Giant's Deep. But Gabbro was blocked from getting any farther, so we'll hold off on that. This, though, the Nomai text that we deciphered, it said something about calibrating a device on the Addle Rock, which is the moon. So let's go check out that moon. Buckle up. View map. Oh, okay. Give me a second here. I'm going to cough really hard. And so we do all this manually. All right. Uh, we locked onto Timber Hearth. Oh. Oh, we're in spice. Okay. And it looks like we fly this just like we were doing with the the other thing. The little little thing. So we might have launched a little too far off into space. I was too busy looking at the uh that landing camera there. I think uh, we want to down thrust. Now we're getting further. We lock on. Then can we advance to it? I want to get to the moon. The moon is here. All right. 
right. So how the heck do we do this? We gotta lock on, which we did. I'm very confused right now. This this is gonna be the whole episode, just so you guys know. This is gonna be me trying to get back to the frigging planet. I can engage autopilot. How about we try that? Alright, so now we're nice and close. Um, whoa, too close, too close, too close! Where's our heckin' moon? There's the moon, okay. So we're gonna lock onto that, and we're gonna engage autopilot, and we'll just let it do its thing. Maybe I will take some time for myself at some point and practice flying a little bit more. Landing mode. Thrust downward. Too much thrust! Okay, 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 okay! All right, that's gonna take some getting used to for sure. We now we want to put on our space suit. And we got ourselves a little bit of info here, I guess. Little scout, do I have a little scout? Test the environment, detect hazards, illuminate dark areas. Health and, okay. I don't... Scout. I guess we don't have one. At least not in there. So we have oxygen and fuel to worry about. Oh, hello. Now, we are tuned into the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency. I do not know of any way to change frequencies. Okay, we got that into this hole. And it's doing some things. There's stairs down. Can I get this back out of this hole? Okay. Okay. So it looks like there's a, a certain sequence. Unless I'm mistaken. Because we got it into one and it's something lit up. And now it's not cooperating at all. We'll just leave that there then. And that symbol is the same one that we saw on that rock. So maybe that is the puzzle. Just re remembering that. Let's go down. See what we've got in here. Oh. Okay, that was actually in the ship, a little thing that mentioned to refill oxygen, you find trees. And then you get near the trees.
So somebody came here before us and discovered things. We picked up a scroll. What do we do with the scroll? Insert the scroll. Oh, okay. So this is more know my writing. So this is the... Well, it might not be the eye signal. They're talking about an eye signal locator. Whether that is this or not, I don't know. Where we are currently are. Quantum moon locator. Ember twin. So there's a locator on Ember twin. That's the hourglass twins, the planets or something closest to the sun there. That's where that line ends. Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow. So they're building locators on different areas of the, the galaxy here. And they're looking for something specific with them. So in the South Pole and somewhere on Ember Twin. That updated our ship log. That's cool beans. There's that symbol again. So this, this must be where that piece of wall came from. They brought it back to Timber Hearth. Upstairs testing the. So this is the eye signal locator. Can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow. So if it tries to follow its own signal, it acts weird. Or, wait, the eye signal locator locates the eye's signal. They're two different things. So they're looking for the eye of the universe. That's the specific thing they were looking for. Makes sense. Makes plenty of sense. Hang out by this tree, and we'll go back up. So this is the sun. That's Giant's Deep. And this would be Brittle Hollow. That makes sense. I hope that makes sense. How do I get out of here now? There we go. Uh, we want to travel to the other side. And is that feasible to do on foot? Probably not. Let us try to do this a proper way. Okay. All right, let's, uh... Match the velocity there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is...
Did we do it? I... Okay, uh... There we are. Nice and gentle. Totally nailed it here. Now we'll go check out this part of the moon. I just noticed. Don't worry, I did just notice. There's our scout launcher. This whole time. So we have very minor gravity going on as we... Trying to just see if this gives me better vision. Because it's dark. It is dark. But we've got some stuff here. Looks like... Oh, we can refuel. Okay, there's an old mining pick and a recording. Chert. We've heard that name before, I think. Yeah. The impact from this crater was most likely caused by something exploding from the Dark Bramble. Okay. There is going to be our next destination. Those twins there. Now, is there anything else I can do at this point with any of these little crystals? Is there anything that I'm looking for to pick up and take with me? Whoa, 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 what did I just do? I did a rocket jump. I pushed the jump button and the thrust at the same time, and it just, boom, look at me go. I was trying to see if I could do something with my velocity to kind of align myself better, instead of getting all turned sideways and whatnot. All right, I don't think there's anything else to do. Do here on this moon. So let's go ahead, pop back in here, and we'll refuel. And let's take a look at our log, because we should have some updates now. Mm hmm. So the first recording we got was from Rybeck. And the South Pole was where they were setting up that other locator. Yeah, so there's that. Um, something's not right, though. Because... I got some information about the Ember Twin, I thought. So my question is, do I just go there? Because that should be close by, even though the game says uh, there's nothing for me to look for yet. 
or do I go all the way out here to Giants Deep and Dark Bramble? Let's start. Let's start here and see where that goes. Okay. So worst comes to worst, you know, I'm in the wrong place. The uh, rotation business here does complicate things, but we're going to go try to find those twins and lock on to them. There we are. That's the Ember Twin. That's the one we want. We are currently matching velocity. Now we can try getting closer. I'm trying to do this all myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. please, please, please. Oh, God. I tried to get away. This is different. So we know I'm bad at doing this myself. I may have thrust myself into the sun as opposed to thrusting away from the sun. What? Hi. Time loop. But we have the launch codes. Do we have all our other information? That we've collected so far? Or do I have to do a whole bunch of stuff over? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, we got all that. Alright. Interesting. It's almost like a roguelike. In that regard. You die, but you keep... A certain amount of progress. This is actually kind of neat. We're like out here in space. And you can actually launch off of a place and go to another planet or moon. That's cool. There's the Ember Twin. This time we'll let Autopilot do its thing. Let's see, we're accelerating towards our destination. Looks like the velocity has been matched. Then we are firing retro rockets. Whoa, 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 please. I don't want to crash into anything. This is so trippy, though. Oh, God. Okay. Hold on. Where am I? What happened? Where? There's, like, an umbilical cord between the two. This is a problem. Let's... I was going to try to use the, uh... The scout while in the ship. That's n absolutely not happening. And I probably should not land the ship high up where I'm not going to be able to reach it again. So... 
suit. All right. We'll explore this a little bit and see what that gets us. Uh, now we will try. And you know what's going to be fun? When I realize I picked the wrong frigging planet here. There's something over there. And there's something in the middle there. There's a lot going on, and this is a small little place, so what we could do is just wander around and see what goes on. Oh, that's interesting. That explains this big carving between this planet here, I guess. It's like a... I don't know if it's sand or not. It's something. And it just... The planet... Like, rotate around one another. And that's just like carving into it. Okay. These little plants are not a sufficient source of oxygen. We need trees... And this light is not super great. I want to get into here before the, uh... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, please. Nailed it. Okay. Doesn't seem like I'm going to need the signal scope in here. Okay, this is dark, unidentified signal nearby. Now let's try. Any sign of Coleus? We've seen that name. A unique and wandering rock that might be the Watson rock they were talking about. Because it's several caves in the area. In the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. In an instant and without warning. Oh! Maybe, maybe Coleus got the properties of the Watson Rock. I don't remember what they actually called it. It is now the Watson Rock. Okay, so a lake bed cave on the North Pole. Interesting. Still an unidentified signal nearby. Hi! This was absolutely not there. See? Watson rocks. So that's back the way we came. Let's go up these carved stairs. It says, unidentified signal nearby. That's not nearby. That is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Now I can change between frequencies. Where stuff is happening. That's cool. That's cool beans. All right. 
So now we've got ourselves a new frequency to latch on to. And if Coleus did actually develop those properties of the Watson Rock, we might be able to locate him. Or what remains of him. There's some trees, and it looks like we might have a friend over there. Hello! Ouch. Hi. Sure. Hi. That explains... Okay, yeah. Hourglass Twin totally makes sense. That is sand, then. It's all coming together. Look at me. My brain. Sometimes it works. A couple supernovae? Okay, we're sharing information. Yeah, that's kind of what we've observed. Makes sense. Updated the ship log. See what else we can do. Okay, so we'll look out for that. Ask him what he's doing here. I, I have, but I haven't been there. Okay. Uh, so the sand does alternate. Interesting. And that means that one planet will have more sand and the other one will have less? Is that what... Like, it's getting smaller? And there's a thing. Does that seem right? Anything else for me to check out here at the moment? I could roast a marshmallow, but how would I eat it? Huh. I think that's my ship. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Let me try bigger arc there. Yeah, that's our ship. We did not go there. We went into the caves and ended up here. I 
And I'm getting quantum fluctuations from... There. That's, uh... Quite a bit away. I can't remember the name. I remember that's the lantern of it. That's another planet. Nothing on this one? That's the cave shard we identified. Alright. Uh, we have a bit more that I want to explore on this planet, and then we will go check out the twin. And we do have a couple other leads on places to explore, but for right now, that's going to be the plan next time. Okay? Okay. So... I will see you all next time. Love ya. Mwah. Bye bye.